If you are stressed with an ever-growing to-do list, it might be tempting to throw up your hands and surrender to the demands of your work. But some simple time management tools can help you deal with your overwhelm. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. Today, I have six tips for you to get more control over your time. If you've never thought of yourself as the kind of person who needs some kind of, you know, uh, sophisticated productivity system, fear not. Y my ideas don't involve you investing in a fancy computer program, folders, binders, anything else. Instead, you can start with some very simple tricks that might just give you enough margin to get more done. Begin with a sense of where things break down for you. Do you know what you should be focusing on? Do you have too many interruptions, for example? Then study your habits and consider asking your boss or your colleagues for their observations about the way you work. Think about the times of the day that you find yourself to be the most productive. Some people are most motivated to tackle complex tasks early in the morning. There are people who get up at five or six in the morning and are ready to get to work. Others are at the best once they get to work around eight or nine in the morning. While many people feel sluggish after lunch, some people prefer to get their most important projects done in the afternoon. Others like evenings or even late nights. Unfortunately, there is no research that will actually tell you what time of day is best for you. Each person is different. Next, you wanna guard your time like it's a valuable currency. This is especially true if you have problems with distractions. For example, suppose you spend 40 hours a week at work but find yourself spending too many hours in unnecessary meetings or handling unimportant emails or phone calls. In that case, you're not using your precious time efficiently. Keep track of how you spend your day in a time log for a week or two and see if you can identify any patterns. Depending on how much flexibility you have, a solution to this problem might require a little intervention from your boss. View the work you need to do today as part of a longer term strategy. Oftentimes, smaller tasks are crucial to the accomplishment of a larger goal or task. If your smaller tasks are what I call administrivia, you may need to reconsider which tasks receive the most significant amount of your attention. Make sure you have a to-do list that you regularly update. Unfortunately, too many people trust their brains to track their tasks. Rely on your calendar to schedule your appointments and set aside time for working on important projects. There are many, many ways to refine a time management system to make it work for you, but take small steps at the beginning. Once you see some progress, you'll be ready to take additional steps towards being a time management guru. I write about management, leadership, and productivity issues in my weekly newsletter. If you don't get it, please let me know that you're out there and I'd love to send it to you. All you have to do, go to my webpage, daveedwardsmedia.com, click on contact, fill in your information, and I will get you my weekly free newsletter on productivity, leadership, and management issues. I'm Dave Edwards. We'll talk soon.